Hi students, very good morning. I am Venugopal Zike, Business Studies Faculty in SDCPU College, Kolar. Firstly, I insist you all to take required preventive measures to control the pandemic disease Corona. I hope you all are doing that. Let us move towards the subject, Business Management. Few months back already we have discussed the first model the nature of the first model the nature of management see in first model nature of management we discuss the meaning definitions features importance and objectives of management in second PO we study business management what is business management Managing the business is called business management in general sense. Before going to the topic business management, let us come to know what is management. In general sense, management means an art of getting things done by others. Here you can observe the picture. So this is we, means we people. Here the employees are the people of the organization. So this meaning, this is the best example. This picture is the best example. Let me explain what is management. An art of getting things done by others means the manager of the organization or the leader or the main person in a family or the organization use it to encourage and motivate others to accomplish the activities is called management example in a factory the manager has to supply 10,000 products per day to the customers himself or alone cannot produce 10,000 products per day to satisfy the customer requirements hence manager or the owner of the organization accomplish the work the 10,000 products with the help of employees this is the best example for management. Let me give another example in SDC college. President madam use it to motivate and encourage all the principals, faculty members, HODs and class teachers to achieve the best results like the state topper, university rank or the district topper. This is called management. So management means an art of getting things done by others. So now Kannada Lelu Bekantandre management and not on the Kale. Ek Kale and Tanandre on the work na accomplish Mar Bekantanandre, especially on the big work, on the larger scale Alita Kanta on the task at work na accomplish Mar Bekantandre, single person in the work na accomplish Mada Kagala. Aga a single person a work na accomplish maada dhukke bere over na help na thakol thane bere over na help na thakom bekaan thandre a person bere over na motivate maadi encourage maadi work na accomplish maad skol thane that is called management let us come to the topic business management what is business management see generally business management means a process of managing resources and activities in the business to reach organizational goals and objectives see business management means a process process means the continuous process or the continuous activity a process of managing means handling resources resources means the main inputs of the organization example man material machinery equipments technology these are the required resources so management is a process of managing resources 
and activities activity activities means the day to day functions are the day to day executions in the business example production activity finance activity marketing activity hr activities so management is a process of managing resources and activities in the business to reach organizational goals and objectives to reach organizational goals and objectives means expansion of the business diversification of the business achieving 200 crore profit 500 crore profit or 1000 crores so these are the examples for objectives of the organization so management is very essential to achieve the goals and objectives hence each and every business and each and every business concern should implement management techniques and principles in the organization let us discuss the meaning of business management as per ncert in exam you should write this meaning to the question what is business management so management is a systematic systematic means in order in a chronological order systematic see management is a systematic and continuous process continuous means very regular daily every day for every activity so management is a systematic systematic means one by one systematic and continuous process of what planning organizing staffing directing and controlling of day to day activities day to day activities means the daily activities of the organization and resources in the organization why to reach objectives of the business so to reach the objectives of the business we implement planning organizing staffing directing and controlling on day to day activities and resources of the organization is called business management i hope you are clear about the meaning of business management let me read once again management is a systematic and continuous process of planning organizing staffing directing and controlling of day to day activities and resources in the organization to reach objectives of the business is called management let us move towards the very important topic in the viewpoint of examination that is functions of management see functions of management there are five functions the first one is planning second one is organizing and the third one is staffing and fourth one is directing and the last one is controlling so management starts with planning and ends by controlling so without these five functions we cannot manage any business we cannot manage any activity we cannot manage any function we cannot manage any process and do remember management not only for the business we use management everywhere we use management on our day to day activities to accomplish our day to day activities we need management example in family function we use management we plan for the function we organize required things to the function and uh, we need people to organize the function and we give directions to the people about how to execute the function and at the end finally we control means we measure the performance of the function right so not only in our family functions right so we use management in all the sectors of the economy in all the fields of the economy in each and every activity of the business in each and every function of the business we use management why management to accomplish the task within a given time and budget 
we need management even we can accomplish the task without management but if we execute any activity without management that may require more time and more budget to minimize time and budget to minimize time and cost we need management and the requirements or the necessity of management pertaining to two aspects one is to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of any function to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of any function or any process or any activity we need management so management five functions planning organizing staffing directing controlling very simple po sdc p o s d c po sdc easily you can remember the five functions of management p stands planning o stands organizing s stands staffing d stands directing and c stands controlling see what is planning what is organizing what is staffing what is directing and what is controlling let me brief about each and every function of management first one is planning to start any activity or to start any function to start any business first we have to plan see what is planning thinking in advance about the future about what to do when to do where to do and who should do, do that that is called planning ek example na ond business na start madbeku no ideas so iga now plan madbeku andre what to start when to start where to start example ond college na start madbekagide so what to start college example pu college when next month right in the month of october where opposite to sdc college so planning is over planning what to start when to start where to start planning over so in a planning already we have decided to start pu college in kolar opposite to sdc pu when in the month of october so planning over next one is organizing to start the planned business as per the planning the second function is organizing so organizing related to establishment of organizational structure organizational system and establishing rules and regulations and communication hierarchy iga ondu business na start madbeku ankondidivi en antanda college na start madbeku iga college na start madbeku andre ondu system na create madbeku ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ನ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ನ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ರನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅವರ ಅಂಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಲಿ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಎಚ್ ಓ ಡಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರ ಅಂಡರ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ರನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ರೈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಕೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟು ಲೋವರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಟು ಟಾಪ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಶುಡ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಹೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ decided that is called organizing so planning aitu planning alli en start madbeku anta decide madidvi so planning prakara na ond college start madbeku kolar dalli in the month of october alli opposite to stc college iga college na start madbekandre namge ond system beku namge ond organization structure beku yaru ond system alli irtare top yaru avaru under alli yaru work martare avaru under alli yaru work martare yaru yarge inform martare yaru yar mele authority tagontare ಯಾರು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ವರ್ಕ್ ನ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಏನು ರೂಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ನ ರನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಈಗ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ನ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ರೆಡಿ ಇದೆ ಈಗ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಪಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಟು ರನ್ ದ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ 
without employee without people example without faculty we cannot run the college so we need faculties for all the subjects example so we are going to start commerce college to run commerce college we need commerce faculty economics faculty business study faculty accountancy faculty statistics faculty cs faculty kannada and english language faculties so staffing means recruiting and selecting right people to the college and assignment of right work to the right people is called staffing staffing related to employee or staffing related to human resource management so already now plan madidivi college na start madbeku anta so college start madbekandre ondu structure athava system beku system na create madidivi so iga system proper ag run agbeku antandre we need employee so employee na recruit madkondidivi already employees na company ge takondidivi staffing over next one is directing so directing antandre here the owner of the organization or the manager should provide required instructions to the employees example college ali principal is the higher authority or the superior he has to instruct he has to provide required guidelines to the faculties about how to achieve the results and how to manage students how to convince parents during very critical situations and how to approach each and every one so regarding that right uh, the principal has to provide required ideas required directions and required instructions to the hods and faculties in the organization that is called directing directing means showing the way to accomplish the task encouraging motivating supporting providing required instructions solving employee problems moving along with the employee for each and every activity that is called directing directing means just showing the way or showing the right path to accomplish the task finally controlling controlling means measuring the performance or checking the performance so checking the performance means for example at the time of starting a college we have established one objective so the objective is 200 admissions and achieving state rank or district rank so controlling means at the end of the year or at the end of the day or end of the month or end of the week controlling means after accomplishing the task controlling is very important here controlling means we have to ensure that whether we have reached our plan right whether we have reached our plan or not so iga plan en ide so now 200 admissions beku right on the district and state rank na tagombeku ankondidivi at the end of the year controlling martivi now district rank athava state rank na now padididiva illa so now controlling madididivi in the year 2000 example sdc nalli 2019 and 20 academic year alli right now plan madididivi en antandre district and state rank barbeku anta so iga controlling martivi controlling alli namge positive results sikkide so we have achieved district and state rank both so this is called controlling controlling means checking the performance so this is about the five functions of management osdc planning organizing staffing directing and called controlling do remember this is very important in the viewpoint of examination you will get this question for 8 marks thank you thank you all